<coughs> Hello YouTube, Deep Sketch here with another Let's Build. So uh, it's been a while since the last Let's Build and uh, I just wanted to create this, I guess the next step in the Let's Build series. Uh, this is a bit more of an intro, so there's not going to be any actual building in this. But there's still some exciting stuff, so stay tuned. Um, first of all, I want to show this this map. If you watch the the first episode of the Let's Build, you will recognize this map because this was the first map I had for my Minecraft world. When I originally created this map, it was not intended for Minecraft. It was intended for another project. So um. In the process of building on this map, I later decided to trash this map and create a new one. And uh, this is the new one. So um, what I did was just take the old map and then draw on it. Because what was wrong with the old map was that I ran into some trouble with some with some um, with some uh, placement of some cities, sort of. I guess the geography of the map was not really suited for what I was, what I wanted to do with with the Let's Build series. I wanted to create some key factions on the Let's Build, um, and not insanely many factions, because there was there was a faction here, a faction there, a faction there, a faction there, a faction here, a faction to that, and it was just all too much, and there was not enough space. And uh, if I had to do that, it was just not going to happen. So uh, the new map looks like this. And uh, you can see this is pretty much still the same shape, and uh, all these are mountain ranges, if you were wondering. So uh, there's this new thing over here, which is the Orc Island, and uh, we'll get to that at some point in the future. But uh, for now, we got the, um, the Nordic city, the Nordic capital, which is, I guess, the only thing I've been building in the Let's Build, which is placed right here. Um, pretty much the same place as in the old map. Which is funny actually is that this map, though concept wise, is bigger than this map. The Minecraft world was 4000 by 4000 for this map, and it's now 5000 by 5000 for this map. So, uh, kind of weird. Um, also, up here is going to be a future project, a dwarven build. Uh, I'll probably do a time lapse on that at some point. Maybe get some help on it. So uh, look forward to that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the new project I'm gonna start. Well, the next step, let's say, it like that, is the imperial build. So the imperial build is everything that is concerned. Uh, pretty much around this place. So there's gonna be some desert building, some swarm builds. A harbor and um, the imperial capital which is going to be the first step the imperial capital and it is a monster it's fucking huge sorry for swearing but it is freaking huge and uh, it is going to take some time so um but it's also pretty damn exciting um i actually have a drawing of it up here um, as you can see here, so we got some pretty exciting stuff. Don't mind the blocks, uh, that is not entirely correct. Uh, we got this giant arena over here, we got this palace, we got this main, main, uh, main road going all the way up to the palace, we got four gates, and uh, there's just a lot of stuff here, and uh, it looks so much better in, in game, so uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so that is what uh, I'm gonna be building. Uh, for the next couple of probably many videos, so uh, that's pretty exciting, at least I think so. And uh, let's see, let's see. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we I also pasted in the the Mage Academy, um, of the Mage Academy from from the title's video. It's I think it's placed somewhere around here. So that's in the world as well. Also the winter gate is now here in this sort of valley thing. But uh, all that I can show you in game. So uh, here we are. We're at the Nordic city. And here we got this da, 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 
palace thing. Also created this sort of private dock for uh, for the king's hall, and uh, it was a freaking pain to copy paste this in. I had to copy um, this entire build in six pieces and paste it in in six pieces because uh, it was so big and uh, my, my computer just couldn't handle it. So uh, that was sad. Also, I got my custom trees in huge in you in huge <laughs> in use in uh, the world painter file in uh, in what in the world painter file in <laughs> in world painter and uh, I did that by obviously opening the photo the picture in a uh, in world painter and just sort of sculpt the landscape after that and uh, then I created these brushes over here to um just that and new object layer and I just selected some of my trees and spotted it here and there and uh, I've been working on this map this is the map I've been working on for a freaking long time and um, it's been taking a long time and I apologize for the delay multiple times but it's it's I guess it's finally here it's finally done still some changes that could be made um, but at least the, the main idea is is there uh, these mountains may look familiar. I know if you're watching Jamesy Boy like me, he has just made a video on these mountains. And when I saw that, I was just, oh shit, now somebody's gonna freaking rant me out for, for doing the same mountains. And just for, just for that, I did not create these mountains after I saw his videos. I created these mountains a very long time ago. I, I think. Three weeks ago, okay, a very long time. Three weeks ago, or something. Um, I think it was, uh, I saw the the Westerscraft Westerscraft server. Um, I've talked about it before. Great, great site. Just you need to check it out. And um, and they had these mountains, and I thought, well, that looks freaking awesome. So I just copied from there. So <laughs> not entirely my idea, but I guess. Not, not from Jesse Boy. <laughs> so, uh, that is good. Obviously, I instead of making it very clean, clean cut, uh, as I know Westeros Crafts has done, very clean cut snow, I've used a bit more feathery brush on the, the mountains, and that gives it an overall better look. So, if you're ever puzzling with World Painter, I can recommend that. Obviously, if you've seen Jeff and Jesse Boy's video, these are the functions over here. Oh, there's a new mountain. <gasps> Great. Um, yeah, so that's basically that. And we got going. Okay. So these are the trees, the custom trees, my custom trees. And just after using these, I'm just I was freaking stunned. It, was, it looks, just looks amazing. So if you're using my trees or your own trees or just some other trees than, <laughs> than Minecraft's original trees, the result is just gonna be so much greater. The atmosphere is so amazing. You just walk around, and you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. I love everything. So um, that's freaking awesome. Um, and uh, oh, it just looks so great. I love, it. Oh, I love it. I'm definitely gonna return to the Nordic build at some point. Oh, I'm gonna make a lot of changes to the Nordic city actually, because I've done a lot of new stuff. In um, the time between this video and the previous Let's Builds, new, some new styles have come up and new ideas. So I'll just set my speed to, uh, let's say, what, 8 and move along. Actually, I think we're just going to pass the winter gate. Yeah, we are. So I'm going to make a few changes to the winter gate, actually. I'm going to make it this tall, so the, the, the tower's height is going to be the new height for the entire gate. So obviously the, the gates themselves are going to be taller as well. Because in this new mountain range valley thingy, it just looks a bit small. And uh, I would like to look bigger. So, oh, we got fire. Why do we have fire? Uh, uh, no. There we go. Uh, also, I think I mentioned this in another video. Um, use, uh, you can still use the, the normal oak wood trees in Minecraft. They st I think they still look great. And uh, just mix them up with uh, your custom trees, and uh, it's gonna look great. It gives it a really nice, 
flow. Oh, you're running fast. So uh, right now we're just gonna fly over to the Imperial City, and it's gonna be somewhere around oh, right over here, right over here. So I'm just gonna get my speed down to two. Yep, we got the river here, and there we go. I'm just gonna go all the way over here. <coughs> Usually, I do not like to lay out the entire city like I did here. Obviously, not the entire city, but lay out the city on prehand before starting to build. I like to have that organic, natural building uh, experience when I build a Minecraft city because I think the, uh, most of the time cities, or at least builds, suffer from too much. Um, Lay arrangement or planning at times obviously can't help us can help it as well if you have a, a bit arranging is, is always good if you want to create something and you have multiple people working on it, then definitely arrange your stuff um, but this uh, this um, I just had a very specific idea of what I want to do obviously you saw the saw this drawing right before and uh, I just I just had to lay it out to make all the things match. I was very I couldn't really get the the size of the city right. Uh, the picture said two hundred fifty blocks wide, which is not far off. It's actually one hundred and ninety blocks wide, which is just freaking stupid when I think about it, because it's just a freaking huge project. So um, once again, this is the imperial caps, and my idea is that you have this main road going along the middle. And over this bridge, and then you walk up to the massive palace, and I uh, have stair stairs here, There's some slabs or something, and uh, on each side there's going to be two very specific statues. Uh, you probably guessed it already. It is the lion statues. I'm gonna use my I think lying down lion statues, lying down lion statues, and uh, put one on each side, and it's just gonna look freaking amazing when you walk up. You see these two lines just go away, and uh, I just can't wait to do that. So uh, that's definitely going to be exciting for the future. Uh, obviously, here we have a coliseum, or not a coliseum, but actually it's an arena, like a coliseum. And uh, here we have this grand temple, which is uh, going to be freaking awesome as well. And obviously a lot of smaller houses. And this is actually something I just created. Um, while putting up these, put it, uh, creating the roads, because uh, the city looked kind of, kind of dull with just the roads, so I just started building this just to get, get, get it started. And you have to start somewhere, and this was, was fun to do. Sorry not doing, I sorry for not doing a video on it. I just had to do this, and it got so fun so quick. And uh, we got these lion heads as you can see on each side, and uh, just walk in and you see the palace and go crazy because everything is awesome and uh, no I'm really excited about this project I think it's, it's gonna be obviously a huge project but it's gonna be so fun to do as well and um, it's definitely gonna keep the let's build going for quite some time so that's great too um, I originally did this video actually where I just continued and just talked while I was creating all the roads. And at the beginning, I thought, "Oh, that's a cool idea." Then people can see how I do roads. And then it turned out to just be f not only a freaking bore to do, but also, I'm most certainly sure a freaking bore to watch. So um, I spared you <laughs> for that part. Uh, and then I started laying out the the, the cities, uh, the the houses, and buildings and stuff like that. I'm not gonna lay out everything. I just laid out this so I had somewhere to start. Just to get a um, a uh, an overview, an overview of the the city. And uh, this right here is the inside of the of the walls around. And uh, I think the walls are going to be five thick. So uh, that's actually what I'm. I think we're going to start with the walls in the next video. So, uh, but it's not going to be that that long because I'll have to do the walls there. 
and there. You know what? There and there. Because I can just flip it. So it's not that much. I don't have to do that. And then I can just copy paste it all the way around. So uh, then I'll leave me have something somewhere to start with. Um, I know it's, it's generally considered to be stupid to start with the wall and then and then create buildings afterwards. Because I would, I would start with a settlement and then spread out from there. But because my city is so um, pre-thought and layout and have this layout as it has, it just makes sense. I just have a very precise idea of what I want to achieve and how the city is going to look. And, um, and creating the wall just helps um, personify that idea. So um, that's what I'm going to start with in the next video. So this video is actually just an intro to what I'm going to be doing in this next step of the Let's Build. But, and very ex a very exciting step, if I say so myself. The Imperial City step. So uh, that's a huge project and uh, I promise to continue it. I want to continue to the end, not only for your sake, but most certainly for my own sake, because I really want to do this. And uh, you know, it's so big, so it's going to take a long time. And maybe I'll get some friends or occasionally my brother to help work on this city so we can get to the, the result as quick as possible whilst giving you a view on the process and I guess my thought pattern on, on working because uh, that's what the let's build is really all about so uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, please stay tuned for the next video which is gonna be walls and um, I hope that's an exciting enough start on this let's build. So, um, bye.